What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today, I'm going to be showing off my new Morpeko VMAX deck, which is way stronger than I ever thought it was going to be. Let's take a look. The goal of this deck list, unlike other Morpeko decks that I've seen in the past, is not to use Morpeko V with its Electro Wheel attack to hit and run with boss's orders in the format. More or less, you're going to get gusted back up and knocked out. It's to attack with Morpeko VMAX and use that max discharge attack for 180 damage. It's very easy to power up with all the powerful lightning cards that we have available to us in standard format right now. Tapu Koko Prism Stars, Dance of the Ancients. We also have Thunder Mountain Prism Star, which yes, will be rotating. But for now, we got Thunder Mountain Prism Star. And between the Bolton V and the Tapu Koko Prism Star and Thunder Mountain Prism Star, it's very easy to get a turn to max discharge for 180 damage. And that damage output is actually super relevant because it easily two hit KOs all tag team Pokemon GX as well as all Pokemon V Max. So more Peko easily two hit KOs most threats while avoiding one hit KOs in return. And one of the coolest things about Max Discharge is that it also spreads 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, which is really good against Zashi and V decks. I've found that it's pretty easy to get the quick one hit KO on a Zashi and V, just a Max Discharge and two Electro Powers will allow you to deal that 200 and 40 damage you need to one hit KO a Zashian V. Then you spread 20 damage. If you get to set up 20 damage on another Zashian V, then you only need one Electro Power to finish it off. So the max discharge math is actually really good against Zashian since it kind of snowballs. You knock out the first one, then the second one's even easier to knock out, which is awesome. And it can also just help bring other tag team Pokemon into one hit KO range. If you're going to use max discharge and you spread 20 damage to Pokemon like Raichu and Alolan Raichu Tag Team GX or other uh, V Maxes, right? Even just 40 damage on a Pokemon Tag Team GX, like Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX, right? Brings it down into that 230 realm, which means that it can be one hit KO'd with a couple of Electro Powers using Max Discharge. So I really like softening up Tag Team Pokemon with Max Discharge and things like that. And it definitely makes those KOs towards the end of the game get a lot easier. The backbone of this deck is very similar to the Toxtricity VMAX deck that I've been playing on stream. And we've got the complete turbo out engine here to help us set up that turn two max discharge as easily as possible. We've got four acro bikes, four quick balls, four great balls. I actually really like great ball in this list because it allows you to really easily find your more pecos and your bolt tons, things like that on the first turn of the game. But it also serves as a card that can help you find your more peco V max, which is fantastic. Four switch in the deck means that we're easily going to be able to switch in for a turn one bolt sun if we happen to go second. And that's one of the best reasons to play Bolt Hunt in this deck, if you go first, you usually just attach two more Peko V and then try to get the turn two max discharge utilizing Tapu Koko Prism Star. But if you go second, then you're going to want to start with a turn one Electrify and then go for the turn two more Peko V max from there. The one copy of Malolana is amazing against Dragapult V max decks, just giving you the option to glance off a hit. And with the Eldegoss V in the deck, you can definitely use Happy Match to reuse that. All in all, a very straightforward and concise deck list, and it works. So if you're looking for something new and fun to play in standard format on the ladder, definitely check out this deck list. See the great catchers and the boss's orders in the deck, really good for bringing up to Denny's to finish off the game as well. Much like Toxtricity, Toxtricity VMAX does base 160, more Pico VMAX does base 180, easily knocking out uh, to Dene GXs on the bench and so on and so forth. And we do play that one copy of the resetting whole Marshadow just so that we can clear power plants and things like that because this is a very Dene heavy deck. We're going to be really churning through the deck, just trying to hit everything that we need to hit on each turn. And with the Speed Lightning, the Acrobikes, you know, it's very easy to do just that. We've got some very exciting games ahead, so make sure to check out the gameplay and let me know what do you think. Going second this game, it looks like we're playing a Lightning deck with our more Pico deck. This is probably Picaram. It chose to go first. And we've got a pretty decent opening hand, to be honest, with Acrobike and Double Great Ball. We've also got the... Mew from Unbroken Bonds here, except this is the promo art, so we can put that onto the bench in protection against an incoming tag bolt. So we've got Picaram coming onto the bench, tag call engine for sure, so I do have to watch out for potentially 
Mallow and Lana in the deck, something to keep in mind. And I think ideally on our first turn, we could full voltage. That would be fine if I get enough lightning energy into the discard pile. Could also consider going in with Bolt Hunt if I'm able to find that Bolt Hunt. And, you know, sometimes going in with the more Pico turn one is not the worst thing, but it's also not usually the best thing. So we'll uh, we'll see if we have any other options. Here's Dedenny and Bolt Hunt. I think we want to take Dedenny off of this. Yeah, that seems seems good. Give us some guaranteed draw there. And then we still don't have anybody we want to necessarily put the lightning energy on. We'll take the more Pico. That's totally fine. And then we can put the speed lightning energy onto the more Pico. And I think with this hand, I'm cool just to kind of wait and then day-day change next turn. I think I'm fine with that. So I'm going to wait and see what my opponent does because my opponent may just decide to play the Thunder Mountain Prism Star for me, play in a Lightning Mirror. So rather than give my opponent some nice to Denny's on the bench, which are just like really easy targets, especially for full blitz, right? Uh, because they could just have a great catcher in their hand. I already know they're probably going to Guzma and Hollow this turn. They could just have a great catcher in their hand or something like that and Electro Power and just be like, oh yeah, I'll take two prizes. Knocking out Zara Aura, much more difficult. They need two Electro Powers to make that play happen with the Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team GX. If they do get it, it's fine. Uh, and they didn't grab the Thunder Mountain Prism Star off the Guzman Hollow, so that means it's either prized or they already have it in their hands. So one of those two. They did get the Speed Lightning Energy and the Air Balloon, so Air Balloon should be able to move that Zara Aura GX out of the active. And it looks like they are going for the Tapu Koko Prism Star. So maybe they don't have the Thunder Mountain Prism Star and are just going to do this the old-fashioned way with Tapu Koko. And they've got Raichu over there, too. And with the Air Balloon, they do have the guaranteed Full Blitz. The question is, do they have double Electro Power in that hand? I highly doubt that they would go as aggressive as to just tag bolt the Zero Aura. That seems kind of uh, seems kind of irresponsible. They'd rather Full Blitz. They have no way. That three-card hand, they've got the double Electro Power. You hate to see it. But that's fine. No Thunder Mountain. You've got it all. We'll see what we can do about this. You've wasted two Electro Powers on my lovely Zero Aura. Now it's time to go in with more Pico. So the odds of us being able to attack this turn are not super high. I would have to probably find a my copy of Thunder Mountain Prism Star for sure. So we're going to get this to the discard pile, grab ourselves Tapu Koko. Acrobike. We find another Acrobike. It's fine. We'll just keep this going. Find an Electro Power. That's fine. Take the Electro Power. And I believe we're just going, going for it. Yup. I mean, at this point, we just have to say, I'll hit it. And I did. All right. We've got the Thunder Mountain. Fantastic. You love to see that. And we also have a quick ball. Okay. We have two lightning in the discard pile. It's very good. We could see. I'm probably just going to research this turn. So we'll get probably a bolt hunt. Seems fine. We'll grab bolt hunt and then. Because I already have another more Pico here that I'm working on. Yep. We'll see if we hit the more Pico V Max. We don't. That's okay. And then we're definitely going to end up accelerating to both of those Pokemon on the bench. Good stuff here. We don't have the crazy, you know, one hit knockout with max discharge, but we are still doing pretty good. So that's fine. So long as I can back up, you know, this knockout, and then I have to knock out the Raichu, it's it's fine. Yeah, a little bit, a lot going on here, but. It's it's fine. We'll dance with the ancients accelerate here. You gotta hate it when your opponent gets the quick knockout on your zero aura like that. And then I don't think that there's too much else that I'm digging for. I played one electro power this turn, so I'm hitting actually there is something else I'm digging for. I would really like to hit that 
electro power. Yep. So, phew, sure enough. Yeah, actually, we are going to take the knockout. So this makes, this is much better, actually. I, I really like that. Yes, the double electro power. Take the knockout on the peak. I felt like we were much further away. But no, we were we were close. Just that double electro power, take the one hit KO on peak around. Uh, that's amazing. Now we've set them up where they have 240 HP remaining on this Raichu and Alolan Raichu. I've got two electro powers left in the deck. And since we softened it up, so long as there's no big charm shenanigans coming in here on the Raichu and Alolan Raichu, we are actually now favored in this exchange. Now, if my opponent knocks out the Dedenne GX, then that means all they have to do is knock out Boltund in that game. So that is a little bit scary. Makes me maybe question putting down the Boltund in the first place uh, because now all they need is a Balsa's Orders and a Lightning Ride GX will do it. So I am definitely on the clock and I have to find my final two Electro Powers. First of all, see, are there two in the deck? There are. So that is very good. We've got some supporters left, and I actually only have 15 cards left in deck. And I do not have a Dedenne left in deck. So I'm definitely going to Day-Day change first. We're going to Speed Lightning, then we're going to Day-Day change, and I believe that we are going to win. I believe that we are going uh, to You don't like to see that. I still think that it is correct to Day-Day change, even though we did just Speed Lightning into double... Cynthia, which would have certainly increased our odds of being able to find the double Electro Power. We still have the Eldegoss in the deck. So now we have it guaranteed. Electro Power, Eldegoss, find ourselves the research, draw into the bottom of our deck, and we have got the double Elite Electro Power back-to-back, -back, max discharge for 240 back-to-back -back turns absolutely wild with more pico v max too it's a crazy crazy game what kind of spice you got here starting with tarachi uh, i think tord is probably playing his goofy zashian flip deck which is you know which is awesome it's epic he said he's got 20 cards in the deck that require a coin flip Yeah, Tweed, we're going to figure something out. I've been uh I've been thinking things. I've definitely been uh been processing some stuff. All right, we're playing against Dragapult. It's fine. We opened a good hand if I can just find a more Pico, maybe a supporter, you know, so on and so forth. If I can just find a basic Pokémon to electrify to What a sack. They play the Shady Tail Wobbuffet. What are the odds? That's fine. I didn't even need that. And we get the research. Speed lightning. Come on. Yes. Busted. All right. We're going to go here. And we're just going to electrify. And I'm not going to do anything else. Because I don't need to. So we're just going to hang like this. And then I think... Oh, yeah, next turn. Maybe we Mallow and Lana and switch and attack with Bolt on V again. And then next turn, we go in with more Pico and research. Something like that. You know, we should be all right. Now, I'm wondering if I'm getting Marnied here. Be a little bit of a bummer. This hand's pretty good. Not really trying to get Marnied. That's a research. Totally fine. <laughs> Maybe redeem tricky points to have Mahomes play certain decks. Shocklock. We want to see Shocklock. Shocklock. All right, here we go. So, what I can Mallow and Lana. Or I just, you know. Go for it with the more Pico V Max. Like we go Speed Lightning Energy here. That or Bolts Run 3, 6, 9, 12. And we're setting up pretty decent with the Bolt On. But if I Mallow and Lana and then take 40, then it's very close to being KO'd the following turn. Whereas Mallow and Lana would be more meaningful on the bench more Pico 
V for sure. So I think we're just going to go here. That's fine. We actually have the Thunder Mountain, which is pretty good. And let's quick ball also. A quick ball away, probably the great catcher. I don't think I'm going to see myself using that. We're going to get another more Pico. How many more Pico VMAX? Three in the deck. Okay. Could just swing. No. Yeah, we're going to Electro Power. And I think I'm just going to Cynthia. I'll put the Thunder Mountain down and I'm going to sit there. Just looking for like a more peak of VMAX. Cool. So, that's fine. This is actually a really busted hand. For sure. And we can just Bolt Storm with the active. Just to like get some damage in there. And it's like, you know, this turn, if they've got the boss's orders this turn... And like the knockout on my Bolton, that's fine. That's where I want to use the Malum and Lana. I want to use the Malum and Lana to heal my Morpika V Max, not to heal the Bolton, because the Bolton's not really going to get any mileage out of it. But yes, it looks like they don't have heal this turn, so that's big. So they're just going to have to swing into Bolton. Then I've got Morpiko. Morpiko can take more hits. So, that's good for us. I've got another Marnie. Totally fine. And they're going in with Dragapult VMAX. Max Phantom. That is, like, very good. They only did 30 damage there, right? So, like, that Max Phantom is just not as, you know, heavy as some other max phantoms that we could have endured so that's, that's very good for us now you know with this thing shutting down more pico or the tapu coco that's that's kind of rough for us we don't love that we're gonna go up with this thing and we've got this guy acrobike first cynthia is good Speed Lightning. And I think we're just going to Cynthia here. Take this knockout. Cool. And I'm not going to bump the stadium yet because I just don't really need to. All these cards in my hand are good. I don't really need to play them. Yeah, we can Great Ball one just to kind of get something out of our deck if we want. That's okay. And we're just going to max discharge and swing. How many Electro Powers do I have down? Just one. That's cool. All right. So we'll take that knockout. Unfortunately, taking 40 damage. So now it's like, okay, probably want to find myself Mallow and Lana if I can. Some boss's orders. That's pretty good. And we can't play, all right, our Thunder Mountain's already down, and we can't play Tapu Koko. So we are just on that manual attach game. Like, we are just manually attaching to more Picos, hoping that that is going to be enough. Now, they have four prizes left to take. I don't think that they're going to knock out this Marshadow. So we're just, like, keeping that there. And I don't think that they'll try to put damage onto the Marshadow either, because they kind of know that I can just bump it to get rid of the Stadium. So they're not really going to waste any damage there i just want to keep the marsh header down just in case they like reset stamp me to three and play a power plant they probably don't play a power plant but something we want to keep in mind all right so yeah we've got to denny off the marnie great ball electro power three electro powers um they're gonna day day change it's actually huge this gives me a huge opportunity to just win the game because i could just i can win the game very easily in two turns now all I have to do is gust up to Denny, gust up one more thing, that's game over. I still have two boss's orders left in the deck as well. That shrine's also going to be ticking on there to Denny. Not that it matters. It doesn't really matter. 
So they don't have to worry about that. They're just looking for a Dragapult. And we're kind of chilling. No more Pico, just doing its thing. Uh, what's funny about the more Pico deck is that this deck, it like I said, it just plays exactly like Toxtricity. It plays exactly, you know, it's like the same as that. Wow, they had the Dimension Breach Giratina the whole time. That's kind of rough. Wonder if they're gonna go scoop up net and put it down. That would be brutal. So play Tool Scrapper. Nah. We're chilling. All right, they're gonna knock my energy off. Did they miss the Dragapult V Max though? They did. All right, so we're in a very good spot here. All I have to do is find an energy. We take the knockout. Leave them with nothing. We've got the energy already. Just going to go here. And they're giving me the well played. Resetting all that. Got research. I don't need to play it. Max Discharge, 210 damage. Seems good. I don't know. I guess they can do 30 if they find a Dragon Ball. They can take the knockout. They can do 30, right? Which is really tough. So... But by gusting up this, they could also attack with the Mew. They could place three with the Mew. I'm just trying to figure out like what they're... Yo, Hoochins. GG's, is that you? I'm trying to figure out what their options are. They certainly knock out my Morpico VMAX. If they attach to Mew, ping with Zigzagoon, they can do it. Oh, here he comes. Yup. We knew this was going to happen. Knock the energy off. Three damage counters there. We're still in a fine spot. We just have to keep calm. They don't have anything built up. Yo, thank you so much, Ryan, for that Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate you. Hopefully you're doing well, you and the family. Thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Um, I think here... We just go attach and pass. And then, you know, we're looking for... Probably a Tingly Return GX. Yeah. Oh, we're definitely... We already know. I'm not going three energy onto more Pico VMAX. No, 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 no. We're going two onto the... Oh, and they're loading up for the fade to black. Ooh. Things have gotten weird. <laughs> things have definitely gotten strange. All right. They're going to retreat into Jirachi. It's fine. We got a big boy. We've got nobody. Nobody here has got a low amount of HP. Everybody's got a lot of HP. They probably want to disrupt my hand this turn. I mean, stamp would be insane for sure. But we've got a lot of gas in our deck. We've got the researches. You know, we've got got some good stuff. <clears throat> All right, here we go, chat. It's game time. No hand reset. Going to see if we can find an Electra Power for game. Acrobike. Switch and Zero Aura. Zero Aura is just better. I'm getting ready to switch anyway. Should have an Electra Power, right? Somewhere. How many scoop up nests do they have now? All four? Oh, yeah. 
All right, we're cool. GG's. Switch. The Tingly Return GX chat. Never thought I'd see a game end like that, but whew, we've done it. With the Dedene GX MVP. All right. Let's go. GG's, GG's. Dedene, what? Did more Pico? How many how many tournaments did more Pico win? At least two. Pretty busted. And that's it for the Morpeco VMAX deck. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and make sure to check out fullgripgames.com for all your trading card game singles. We're always buying cards. If you got bulk lying around the house, extra full art secret rares, GXs, things like that, and you want some extra cash in your pocket, make sure to check out fullgripgames.com, our buy list section. We're always buying bulk and singles. Also, make sure to check out FullGripCodes.com for all your trading card game online codes instantly delivered via email. We've even got trainer toolkit codes available on FullGripCodes.com. Supporting the shop directly supports the content we create here on Tricky Gym. Y'all have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.